Hey everybody, Mayor Pierre Leroux here. Just wanted to uh, wrap up Monday night's council meeting, uh, give you guys a little bit of information. It was a very long meeting, probably one of the longest we've had this term. I uh, finished almost a uh, quarter to midnight. Um, but there was a lot of information, so I'll just touch base on a few items here and I invite everybody to go visit the website russell.ca and uh, read up for more information if you like. So the first one is in regards to the Russell Transpo uh, Transit System. Uh, contract renewal. So council went ahead and uh, renewed the contract for a one-year period with uh, some minor modifications. An express route for Ember will be implemented and uh, we also gave directions to uh, the administration to start working on a, uh, on a RFP, a request for proposal, on a tender process uh, as soon as possible so that we can make sure that we have a, uh, something out in the public forum uh, next year so that uh, we have options when it comes to renewing this contract going forward. The second item I wanted to mention was a, our uh, community profile and town folio. So essentially this was a, a report that was presented to council. We received uh, what is going to be our community profile which is a, was honestly was an amazing uh, document that was prepared by our, our consultant which we uh, got some funding to help uh, put together and the administration. They did a great job, our eco development uh, team and I look forward to that being uh, out in the public and you guys being able to read up on the township. There's some quite some interesting facts so that was a, that was a nice report to read. Um, the next item was a capital charges bylaw report. So this essentially was a, um, to put it in basic terms, uh, when new homes are built, um, there's a fee that's paid uh, for them to be able to take capacity out of our water and sewer. Um, so essentially, uh, we're looking to put those fees for future connections uh, by existing homes because we do have areas in the township that are not connected to water and sewer and one day uh, they might be able to connect. Um, so this would be a fee that they would pay exactly the same as new home builders who are essentially paying to take capacity out of those pipes. So that was, that was done as a first reading and that will be coming back uh, to council. So if anybody has some questions or comments or looking for feedback, I invite you to look at, uh, at the report online. And the last one I wanted to mention was the Retail Business Holidays Act. So we got a, uh, a request a meeting or two ago about a retail business that wanted the ability to open on statutory holidays. Um, so that falls under the Provincial Act. Uh, but the Provincial Act allows for municipalities to put a municipal bylaw in place that would give permission for stores to be open on uh, statutory holidays. So um, the recommendation was not to move forward, but Council has given the direction that they would like to see stores uh, have the ability, if they so choose, to uh, open on holidays. I think that the fact that this, was, this Act was written in 1990 before we had uh, internet shopping uh, you know, this, this is something that we have to look at at a, a modern day and times. So, uh, but we're going to be looking for feedback. This will pr most likely come back at our July 5th special meeting. So if anybody has questions or comments, send them to the township. Uh, email your members of council or myself. You're more than welcome. And I'm always available to have uh, sit-down discussions when somebody's looking for one. So that's pretty much it. That was the four items I wanted to mention today. Um, so again, I invite you to go look at the agenda online, uh, see the minutes when they're available, or look at the webcast. That's always available. So thanks very much, everybody. Enjoy the beautiful weather, and uh, we'll see you soon. Have a great day.